Hi. Hi. So we've been getting a lot of new registrations and there are questions coming up about the course. So we thought we'll have a small session to answer these frequently coming up questions. Uh, the first one is about prerequisites, right? Uh, so remember that this course is programming heavy. So the idea is to build solutions and to use your knowledge in Python to build deep learning solutions. So I, I think you need about two years of programming experience to feel comfortable around, right? In particular, you need thorough understanding also of Python. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Right. And the emphasis on building solutions and Python is going to get you there, right? So that's something that you should understand thoroughly. On the math part, Mitesh. Yeah. So the math part, right? So uh, you require some things that you've done in the 12th standard level, which includes uh, matrices, right? So what we require in matrices, how do you multiply two matrices, what are their dimensions once you do the multiplication and so on. There are different ways of multiplying matrices. So you could just quickly do a recap of uh, how to do this, then things like you should be familiar with what vectors are, what are dot products of vectors, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever topics require, whatever concepts require these topics, we'll revise them when we do those topics, but you should have a prior understanding of these things. And also derivative, right? So if you don't know how to compute the derivative of say 1 raised to 1 over e raised to x, then you will find it difficult to go through the course, right? So we'll again refresh this as and when required, but you should at least have some confidence that if you hear the word derivatives, you should not fret about it and you should have some prior understanding. Of it, right? So in summary, right, so the, the course will try to recap many of these uh, material, but you need to have prior knowledge to be able to keep pace with the course. The, the course will increase in complexity, ending up with a very complex solution at the end. Mm -hmm. To keep pace with that, you should have uh, a good understanding of these things to start with, right? So that's on the prerequisite side. So those who feel that you have both of these, you should feel confident. For others, if you need, you can prep up on these topics in the remaining uh, days before the course. Right? Uh, then we get a lot of questions on the syllabus. Uh, so uh, we will just show you the slide uh, from which was part of the uh, the course itself, right? So uh, th this is what we have in the form of a syllabus, right? So this this is a four month course. So there are four modules, one, two, three, four, roughly matching up to one month of co uh, of the course each. And as you can say, it has been uh, broken down based on the final solution that we want to build. So this these lines here tell you a bit about what is covered, right? So we've been getting a lot of questions from people. What is, what is the detailed syllabus? Here it is, right? So the first module is going to be about things like what is a perceptron? What is a shallow neural network? How do you uh, build these things with Python? So use something like NumPy, for instance. How do you build it from scratch? What are loss functions mathematically? How does gradient descent work? How can I program gradient? in descent right and eventually use that to solve the problem does this image have a text which is a binary classification problem right so uh, the idea of this slide we can uh, we can go through all of them now or you can look at them yourself right so for instance the second one it introduces to you deep neural networks uh, we will be teaching the pytorch uh, framework uh, and then it goes into some important mathematical concepts like stochastic gradient descent hyperparameter tuning which is uh, a practical thing to get deep learning working and so on right so Go back to this slide, look at the content available here and see uh, what are the different modules. And still, if you have further doubts, you can ask us specific questions on that, right? Anything to add on that? No, that's it. I mean, all the information is here, so you could just look at it carefully and hope it should answer all your queries about the syllabus. Okay, so that is on the uh, syllabus, what are the modules. Then we also got some questions from people on whether are you going to do AI uh, versus ML versus DL. Is it, as in, is the course going to also teach me AI? So we already had a session on uh, jargon busting and the yeah. video is up on our YouTube channel. Look at that. But remember, this is a course on deep learning. Right? So it is a practitioner's course on deep learning. You will use deep learning as a mechanism to recognize patterns. And in particular, this uh, course is going to focus on computer vision. Right. Yeah. So, and maybe a very little bit of NLP, but the largely the focus is going to be on computer vision. Right. So, we are going to solve this uh, problem of signboard translation, which is a computer vision problem using deep learning methods on the framework of PyTorch. So, we'll start with PyTorch because that is, as we have I mentioned in the uh, forums also, is easy to learn, but also is something that can uh, be used to write custom models uh, conveniently and hence uh, do research with. So that is the syllabus. We are getting a lot of questions on this. Uh, look at the material already available on the slide and also on the course video. So, yeah, so regarding the logistics, the course will start on 1st February 2019. Uh, so right now you see the course, first course on deep learning on your dashboard, but we start putting in the content on it starting 1st February. And all the content would be online through videos. And this will be available on our course webpage and not on YouTube, right? So once you log into your uh, Padai account, you should be able to see this under the course, first course on deep learning. And the material will be available till 30th June. That is one month 
till one month after the course officially ends right so that's how we have planned it so the so the uh, the content will come uh, in a certain drip schedule right yeah. so every week you will get video content for instance there is uh, only some uh, uh, so I think the jargon busting video now every week you will see more content there so you have to go check back and see if there is new content right and yeah, as I said, uh, videos will be released every week and there will be assignment deadlines once at least uh, every two weeks, right? And so some people are asking what would be the time, will, be, will it be like Monday 9 a.m. that I have to see the videos and so on. No, so there will be no fixed time, we'll release the videos, we'll get a mail, every week some new content will come out. And then you could uh, see the content at your own pace, but you'll not have the flexibility to do the assignments at your own pace, right? So there'll be a fixed deadline for that and all of us, you have to submit the assignments on the same date, right? And this is particularly important for those who are working, right? So the videos you can see are based on your schedule, but remember that at least eight to 10 hours of effort is required every week, right? So you'll have to find that time to be able to finish the assignments in within the time slot and keep pace with the course. Yeah. And a lot of you also ask about compute resources. So we encourage you to check out Google Collaboratory and Kaggle Kernels. These are both uh, online cloud services where you could have uh, VMs on which you could run uh, code using GPUs also, right? So for the first two months of the course, we don't envision you to use GPUs. We should be able to manage with good CPUs or good machines that you have at your home or in universities. But if you require anything, you could also go and look at Google uh, Colab and Kaggle Kernels. Yeah, so we'll do this in more detail later. But uh, the important part is uh, the assignments will be submitted on Kaggle. And Kaggle has a feature called Kaggle Kernels, which allows you to um, sort of like create the assignment solution within that interface and run it on Kaggle servers, which actually ends up running on the Google Cloud, right? So we will discuss this and this is fairly convenient and should cover you for the first two months. So you don't need any additional compute power in the first two months, right? Uh, so those asking about, hey, do I need a GPU and so on? For now, no. We will tell you at, at which point you may require and that will be farther down the course. And uh, so for the next steps, now go to the free Enroll on Padai course. Unfortunately, a lot of you who have registered have not done that. This is just a free course. It will have some basic content on Python and Mac, which will help you understand where you are currently and also quickly revise some of the con uh, concepts that you require for the course. Right? So please do that immediately. You can also create an account on Kaggle uh, to get started with. Just get familiar with this platform. And also some of you, as we had mentioned earlier, that we expect a lot of you to write blogs about the things that you learn in the course. And then we'll include this in our own publication on Medium. So we like to have Medium as a platform on which everyone writes blogs. So just do that. And one uh, note that, that if you're taking uh, images, etc., from the content of the course, then you should just cite it. That's a normal practice that you should follow. Yeah, so again, encourage people to write blogs, so create an account on Medium, you can find the URL, you're not added it here, you can find the URL of Medium, um, write your blogs and at the very top you should uh, cite where you're sourcing this material from, just as a, as a good practice, right? You are allowed to use images also from our slide content or videos, but again, cite each image or video, right? And we will create a Medium publication ourselves and invite the best entries to be part of that right so i think already for the first uh, blog call that we put out on uh, ai map there have been a few entries we'll choose the best one and include that as the first entry within the publication okay so regarding doubts i think first thing is that uh, of course uh, as more people come in the volume of queries and uh, questions will increase and we are unable to individually answer to all of these uh, queries that's the reason also to have this kind of a video to uh, collect the most important questions um, so 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 if you write individual queries or emails to us most likely you will not get the answer given the bandwidth that we are having uh, we will create a discussion forum this is, uh, once the course starts where we can sort the important questions, have pinned questions and so on, uh, where you will be more efficiently able to get your questions answered. Uh, hopefully people within uh, the community, including other students, will be able to answer you. What we will do is we will have, a, uh, I think, a fortnightly live session where we try to collect the top questions and answer them in a session like this, right? Um, so, so just to repeat, I think the main thing is uh, there are many questions people have which are the same ones that others have asked or they have already been answered by us in our videos, etc. Please look at them before posting your questions, right? And if your question is not being answered by us, most likely the answer is already out there. So please look around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then also some questions about what happens after the program. So first of all, there's no final exam here, right? What we want to do is build a solution 
and you'll be doing projects uh, or contests, right? So that's what will happen at the end of the course. There'll be no written exam or any online uh, theory exam as such. Uh, the certificate, uh, just to clarify, this is from One Fourth Labs. You'll get a certificate on completion of the course, which will show some score based on the assignment and contest performance, and also some relative ranking with respect to the other students in the course. We are not giving any job or internship guarantees. Please be absolutely clear about that. The only thing we have is that the top one percent or so of students who do well in the course will be invited to the DL summer garage that we have here, right? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that is uh, associated with the course, and only for a very very few students. Yeah. Also on the certificate, this is not from IIT Madras. This is from the startup. So IIT Madras is involved only because we are affiliated to IIT Madras. So it's not directly involved at all in this program, and hence there are no relations to what uh, what you are guaranteed from IIT Madras as well, right? So uh, please bear that in mind. And also the internship program is. Uh, more of an invite only program for, for the top students who we think their solutions match the way we are approaching things they will be invited to look at certain things right so it's important to realize this so in summary I think the, the, the first thing is uh, take a uh, closer look at the prerequisites ensure that you have the right background to start off uh, because the course is programming heavy it will become more intense as we go along because we want to build up to solving a complex problem so that is one thing um, I think the logistics is here and the syllabus is also here you can look at it uh, regarding doubts uh, please look at uh, videos already put up like this one and others and before asking questions and um, and also recognize that this is not something directly from IIT Madras. We have a set of links here, we will put them also as part of the YouTube uh, uh, description. Uh, please go there and check out what's there. Okay then, see you in the course. See you then.